For the Zips Digital Network, Chad Welker here for the 2019 edition of Mac Media Day here in Detroit, Michigan. Here with the two number ones, number one on defense, number one on offense, Alvin Davis and Cato Nelson. And guys, first of all, just share with me the experience you guys had over the course of the last couple days up here in Detroit. Um, it's a great experience meeting all the other players from other schools, just having fun, playing mad and beating a couple guys. It's a great experience. Uh, like you said, it's a great experience being able to meet some of these players and uh, um, interview with some some of these people here uh, about nice things. Now last night you guys participated in a youth clinic here in Detroit. Um, you guys have been doing a lot of community service over the course of the time that Coach Arth has been in here uh, at Akron. Share with me the importance of and the value of giving some uh, guidance to these young guys. Um, giving guidance to the young guys, oh, it means a lot because I was there one day and I wish I had the same guidance. Um, just having someone older with the experience and knowing that you have a long way to go, helping you out in every way they can, that means a lot, honestly. And on top of that, just seeing like somebody who's actually made it or, you feel me, um, the kids yesterday, like we, we got to coach them up and everything, and they were just really excited about us being collegiate athletes because that's what they want to be one day. So I think just being that and being an example for them means a lot to them. Now we're only a little bit over a week away from camp beginning August 2nd. Uh, you guys were uh, just announced today that you guys were picked fifth in the East. Uh, what's the type of motivation uh, going into camp now that you guys kind of have an idea where other people think of you? All I'm going to say is get ready for a show because it ain't going to end like that. Right. Every year they pick us fifth in the East or something crazy and we just prove them different. I'm going to throw it down to my assistant Spencer German who's standing by with Coach Tom Arth. Thanks Chad. Our MAC Media Day coverage continues now with the head coach of your Akron Zips football team, Tom Arth. Coach, first MAC Media Day, just reflect on a little bit and how did it compare to your past Media Day experiences at both at John Carroll and then obviously at Tennessee Chattanooga as well? Yeah, it's been it's been awesome. It's been a really uh, great couple days. Um, I think, you know, first and foremost, the opportunity that it presents for our student athletes, for Cato and Alvin to be here and to be in an environment like this, uh, to be, you know, put in front of cameras and asked a lot of questions. It's just a really, uh, can be uncomfortable and it can be a really great um, opportunity uh, to learn. Uh, so I, I'm really excited that they're both able to be here with us today and uh, that they get a chance to, you know, see how, uh, you know, how, how all this uh, plays out. And um, it's been, uh, it's been different um, than some of the other media days that, that I've been a part of. Uh, at John Carroll, we were really fortunate. Uh, OAC Media Day was always held at the uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame. So, you know, just a really cool venue, great opportunity uh, to be there. Um, Southern Conference uh, Media Day, uh, we first year we did it in Spartanburg, uh, which is where the Southern Conference offices are located. Um, the second year we did it remotely, which was kind of cool as well. Everybody did their, uh, you know, their media day from their campus and sent it in. So um, this has been, you know, this has been very different. It's an incredible venue being here at Ford Field and uh, opportunity you know I think everybody every coach every player that's here is hoping that they're back here uh, in December playing in the MAC championship so it's just a, a great way to kick off the, uh, the start of the 2019 season. You touched on a little bit with uh, having Alvin and Cato here but how, how important is it an event like this for not only the conference but also for the Akron Zips football team as a whole? I think it's uh, I think it's great. Um, it's an opportunity for uh, for our fans to, to to hear a little bit about you know our players, to hear a little bit about our program and uh, what our expectations are uh, for the upcoming season. So uh, to be able to to provide that opportunity and you know to engage our our fans and all the supporters of the University of Akron and our football program um, is awesome. And uh, we appreciate all the media that have, that have come out and uh, you know going to you know write stories and um, you know air our uh, our conversations um, you know just it helps it helps get our uh, get our message out gets uh, you know University of Akron um, you know on the you know on the on thoughts of, uh, of everybody listening so it's a it's a great great opportunity you use the word expectations the preseason poll came out obviously this morning has you guys expected to finish fifth in the Eastern Conference out of six teams does that provide any sort of Motivate, is that at all a motivating factor for your guys in the locker room? I know you don't always like to look at those kind of things. You have your own ways to motivate your guys. But is that something at all that you look at and say, hey, you know what, we want to prove these people wrong? Well, you know, I think that, you know, number one, you know, our motivation has to be internal. Um, you know, I think, you know, you never you never turn away an external, uh, you know, motivating factor. And, you know, people, uh, you know, vote us at fifth. I think, you know, I think that's fair. I think it's typically a reflection of of, of how you've done uh, previously. And, 
you know, I think as a new coach and new staff coming in, um, you know, a team that, you know, graduated a number of players, you know, especially on the defensive side, you know, it's, it, it's hard to, you know, to pick you, you know, any higher than that. But, um, you know, as I've told our team and I've told everybody that I've had the chance to talk to is, um, you know, our players have exceeded my expectations and everything that I've asked of them since I've been here. And um, I expect that to continue. You know, I expect that uh, they exceed my expectations, uh, you know, in, in their performance. I expect that they exceed um, the expectations of, of our fans um, this season. And at the end of the day, um, what we need to focus on is, you know, what it takes for us to be successful day in and day out in our program, um, you know, living up to the standards that we've set for how we prepare, how we practice, um, you know, how we go to class. Um, if we can meet those standards every single day, um, I think we'll put ourselves in great position. Well, you can finally turn your attention towards football with Mac Media behind you. Just quickly remind everybody when camp gets started and also just talk a little bit about how excited you are to sort of get into really the thick of things here in your first season as head coach. Yeah, we uh, we get started uh, August 1st is our report day. I don't want to say we get started because our, our, we've had a great group of players on campus all summer long training, uh, working really hard in preparation for this season. But uh, we will open up fall camp uh, August 1st with our, our first practice on August 2nd and uh, really excited to to get out and, and get back to work uh, with our team and to, to really find out you know who we are and, and what we're capable of this season. And uh, we look forward to having all of our fans come out and see us uh, throughout, uh, throughout training camp and uh, certainly uh, at all our home games this fall. And of course, the Zips season gets started a little over a month from now on Saturday, August 31st against Illinois. Until then, Zips fans, be sure to head over to gozips.com to buy tickets or you can call 888-99-ACRON. That's it for Mac Media Day. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Until next time, go Zips.